Hello and welcome to the Lost Library and Pillars of Eternity. We are still looking for the midwife that's supposed to be able to help Ofra with her problem in Gilded Vale. You see, the problem is that she is very concerned that she's going to have a hollow-born child. And a hollow-born child is a child without a soul. And if Lord Raedric finds out about this in Gilded Vale, as he has done with others, he will immediately ban Ofra and her child from the village and protection of Gilded Vale. So as you can imagine, she is very concerned, being that she's on her own. We promised to take on the task of finding this midwife in an area called Anslog's Compass. Now, here's the question. It's south of Gilded Vale, and we haven't seen anything we haven't picked up any clues or tips as to where this Anslog's compass is. And we've almost cleared the entire, this entire area, or this entire region of, I forget what it's called, actually Madrig, Ma Magrin's Fork. We've just about cleared all of Magrin's Fork and you can see it is south of Gilded Vale. So one would think that Anslog's compass or pass should be in the same area. It's Anslog's pass, not compass. Anslog's pass should be in the same area. I guess we'll just continue. Continue going forward. And we're going to probably... Lost is going to take a little bit of a break. He's asking to take a break. It's... Uh, Hour six. They've been doing a lot of not pretty much non-stop adventuring and exploring for the last six hours. He's going to take a break and he's going to go and he feels he can upgrade his uh, his spells. He's ready to upgrade some spells. As you can see, Lost has enough experience to level up. So that's what we're going to do and. Before we do anything, we're going to level up Lost. Here he is. And I think what we're going to... We have six points left in the skills. I think it makes most sense to give him another increase in his lore. Which will take him to seven. And what's the difference here? Let's see. Okay, use level three school scrolls. There's no difference from six to seven. It's exactly the same, but it says here in lore, higher lore values allow the character to use higher level scrolls. So I think we want to continue going in this direction. We have two points left. We could put it on stealth, but I'm not sure. We could also put it on athletics, which would give a little bit more to second wind. How much more? It gives another five points to second wind, which would be 30 endurance as opposed to 25 endurance. Not much of a change there. Mechanics. What does it do for mechanics? Anything? Let's see. We go here. Oh yeah, okay. So it says here, disarm difficulty two traps, pick difficulty two locks, plus six trap accuracy. Whereas if we do three, increase to three, he can now disarm. That's kind of funny how that works. Okay. He can now disarm difficulty three traps and pick difficulty three locks. Hmm. Do you remember that trap in the uh, back in the Temple of Aethos? That trap that was on the uh, sarcophagus, and we want to come back when we are at a higher level. I think that uh, Eloth, uh, Eloth will be able to handle that, though. 
I'm not sure if we want to ups if we want to invest any in mechanics. We should probably save it for the lore. So I think that's what we'll do. Mind you, what about survival? What does survival do? Yeah, these are the rest uh, bonuses. Uh, I think we're going to save it. Okay. Now we can pick a spell. A level 2 spell. And I'm thinking... Now there's a lot of spells to go through. I'm not going to go through each one of them. Uh, with you. Because there's a lot here. I've gone through them, and I'm thinking that, you know, Lost is kind of turning out to be kind of like, a, I wouldn't say a long-distance mage or wizard. He's almost, uh, he's, he's turning out, to, well, he's using that Kanselhaut's parasitic staff with success. But the problem is, is he's just not strong enough to withhold any kind of real offensive attack. So, uh, should we be focusing on more deflection or damage reduction or should we just go for it and continue with consult's parasitic staff because you know the thing with that staff is the damage is very good and it also has the ability to increase the endurance with a successful hit but it's slow that's the thing it's slow so look at this merciless gaze here. I've been looking at this. And what this does is, it's a fast spell. It's a second level wizard spell. It's fast, but it gives us the caster plus 15% of the hits are converted to crits for 60.8 seconds. Now, if you remember, parasitic staff, the consult's parasitic staff is also good for 60 seconds. So I was almost thinking this might be the way to go. If we can if we can hit with crits we're doing like 50 60 points at a time and it lasts for 60.8 seconds it's plus 15 percent it's not great but it's better than what we have it's either that or i'm leaning towards this necrotic lance and i'll tell you why here we have, it's an average speed, which isn't the greatest, but look at the range. We have eight meter range with this, but this is what I like the most, the corrode damage, 41 to 53 corrode damage, and then 38.4 corrode damage over 6.8 seconds. I think this would be very good if we could fire a necrotic lance as one of our first spells. It would do serious damage because corrode damage it's going to take on just about anything so what do we do and then there's some real good fire spells here which are real interesting look at this rolling flame it creates a rebounding ball of fire uh, inflicting burn damage upon anyone in its path this is very interesting a target of 25 to 35 burn damage um, but it bounces up to three times. And then you also have the Ray of Fire. And this is another interesting one. Creates a scorching ray of flame between the caster and the target, inflicting continual burn damage to the target and anyone caught in the ray. So Lost has, he's pondering these spells, you know, which one should he put into his grimoire? I think he's going to go with the... Uh, He's leaning towards the Necrotic Lance. And I think that's where he's going to go. Necrotic Lance. Here we come. Okay. Now the Talents. Okay, again, I mean, look at the Talents to go through. It's like an encyclopedia of Talents, right? So we're not going to go through each one of those. But what we are going to do is we're going to pick a Talent. And the one we're going to pick is... It's the class and it's a bonus first level spell and the reason why lost is going to go in this direction is he should have now six cast attempts with this bonus first level spell and it's all about the cast attempts so this is the direction he's going to go there you go our new level four 
wizard lost. He's the only level 4 wizard in the party right now. So now we'll look at his uh, Grimrar, which is here. And there you go. So if we clear all these spells, I think the first spell, Slicken's been good, but it's just so finicky because what I'm, well, yeah, I have a hard time with Slicken is, again, because we're playing, uh, you know, at a hard difficulty level, it's not the most accurate spell and it actually affects our, our companions I, almost on every, every cast. Wizards double, we have no choice in the matter, we have to take it. Spirit shield, we have to take it. And we definitely have to take Council Hut's Parasitic Staff. And I think we're also going to take Chill Fog this time as well. And now we get two. Uh, we get another spell, don't we? Right here, the Necrotic Lance. There it is. So we should have five cast attempts plus the bonus should be six. Let's see if that's the case. Oh? No, it's not. Oh, it's because we didn't rest. That's right. We don't have three cast attempts on level two, do we? And two? Oh, this is interesting. Are we going to get seven? Are we going to have seven cast attempts here? Ooh. Okay, should we rest? I don't think we have to just yet. Let's take a look at the map. You can see we've cleared most of this area here, most of the uh, Magrin fork. So we just have to move in this area a little bit more yet and then back in here. So we'll keep heading in this direction. I guess we'll keep heading east. Let's go. Let's make sure everybody's together. can't afford to miss anything here. And there is something that looks like blood loss. Yes, it is. Okay, we will take that. We will take that. So now we're going to head east, continue to head east. I like this new formation for out in the wilderness. Spreads them out a little bit more. We could actually even do it a little wider if we wanted. Oh, is there anything in here? Do we see anything that we can use? Let's keep heading east. This takes us down into, if we want to head further south, I guess, there's a deer. Not a deer, a deer. <laughs> now here is, I guess, that St. Gyrum's horn. Yeah, right. Can we go further south here? Where does that take us now? Okay. Let's continue up here. Oh, we could, but we're not going to hunt that deer. We're not desperate enough yet. Not that state. We have one camping supply available. That's okay. Okay, let's keep watching out, though, for any more of these plants that we need for our potions. Oh, what's this? What's going on here? Tame. Do you see something? Hmm. 
can see what we're doing here. We're exploring the outer edges. Oh, what is this? Look at this. Here we go. Ludrona. Is this a friend or is this a foe? Uh, let's just keep going. Not too much, though. Not too much. Let's just kind of make our way past them for now. And continue going up. It looks like there's something there for us. Okay, so Ludrana. We don't know who that is. Ah, okay. I think what we are going to do before we go and speak with Ludrana, let's check this area. Did you see that? What is this? A Will-O-Wisp. Okay, we've run into these before. We ran into these in the uh, Temple of Aethos. So we should be okay with these. And you know, a Will-O-Wisp is not supposed to be aggressive. So let's see. Is it going to come after us? Can't even see us. Is there anything here for us? Okay, so we know there's a Will-O-Wisp in here. Is it coming after us? No, it's not. Okay. That's like an old, what is that? I think that's it. Okay, so we have cleared this area out pretty much, and we haven't found much, have we? So let's go deal with this Will-O-Wisp. Okay. So a deer is going to be, what's a deer carrying right now? The sword, Tane, huh? you've got your flail. Okay, good. All right, then. Yeah, deer, just check it out a little bit. Huh? Tane, you can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. You too. A deer. Hey. There it is. Can you fire an arrow into a will o wisp? Let's try it. It looks like it's a foe here. It's not really giving us an option. To converse or to even ignore it. Well, let's see if it attacks us. Let's just see. We'll give it, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt, Mr. Will-O-Wisp. If you don't attack us, we won't attack you. And you shouldn't attack us. But you are. Oh, okay. All right. Tane, get in there as well. So Tane's going to come and help his buddy a deer. We'll leave the other three there. Oh, what happened to a deer? Nothing. It doesn't look like much happened. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Oh, a deer hit the Will-O-Wisp for 15 slash damage. But the Will-O-Wisp grazes a deer for one shock damage. But here comes Tane. Oh, Tane. Tane is just, oh, Tane is just pounding it. Look at this. It's over. It's over. Tane killed the Will-O-Wisp. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? He hit him for 12 crush damage. After, of course, a deer knocked him down. Knocked down the Will-O-Wisp. Even so, Tane kills the Will-O-Wisp. It's over. Okay. Certainly. Is there anything of value? 
the will of the wisp? What was the will of wisp guarding here? Anything? What was it doing in here? Why was it hanging out in here? No reason? Oh! What's this? What is this? Orland's Cradle! Oh, I think we need that. That's going to come in handy. Orland's Cradle, where is that? That's for a potion, for sure. Anything in here? Light, flame, and sound. Oh, this we looks like something as well. That's a door. Okay, is this the widow? Or not the widow, the midwife? But this isn't Anslog's Pass. Okay, well first let's see if anybody's here. But this does look interesting. What is that? Let's go through here. It doesn't look like anybody's here. I don't think... Are those potatoes? Oh, we could use... We could use some food. Desperately. Desperately use some food here. Because, I mean, we don't have camping supplies. We only have one set of camping supplies. This does not look like it's lived in, does it? Not really. Okay, we're going to grab it. We need it. We need it. Oh, what is this? <coughs> Gold rot chew and lock picks. Yeah, we're going to take that too. I don't think... You know what? It could have been... Uh, it's more than likely that hunter that we met, that we've, uh, we found on the side of the road by the Adra formation. More than likely that's his, this is his place and he's no longer around. So uh, yeah, and look, there's vegetation growing so it doesn't look like there's been anybody here for quite some time. However, why are the candles burning? Oh, what do we have here? This is a grappling hook and camping supplies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this is good. This is good. Is there anything on the table here? Good. I think we have everything. And you know what we should probably do? We should probably rest. We have two camping supplies, so why not? We can afford to rest now, and we will. I don't think there's any more level ups, so let's rest. So we'll give the Tain the uh, racial accuracy bonus. What is Vessel? I guess that's... I guess that's human, right? Spirit, primordial, beast, wilder. Consumable duration, plus 20% consumable duration. What is that? Movement, heal multiplier, plus 20% healing received. Damage reduction, plus one damage reduction. That's not a lot. Consumable duration, what is this? Plus 20% consumable duration. I don't know what it is, but it sounds... Oh, consumables. That's what it is. Okay, no, I think we're going to go for vessels. And a loth. You're just going to do the damage reduction. It's not really helping you, is it? Healing multiplier, heal multiplier. Hmm. Okay, let's rest. Okay, we're ready to go.
I guess we can grab this, whatever it is. Is that Orlan's Cradle? Settler's Arrow. I think we need that as well. We might be in a position to craft a potion. We should probably look. Just wait, have we gone through this way? Yes, we have. We're okay. So we have to go through here, and that's where this Ludrana is. So we'll just go on the... We'll go, we'll go back this way. Let's go back this way. Okay, we don't have to be in search mode anymore. But as we get closer... Oh! I shall be discreet. Oh no! Who is this? It's a gold-packed paladin. See, we don't know. I mean, it looks like we can talk to him. But can we talk to him? It looks like we can. Oh, there's Ludrong, Ludronga. And there's the paladin right there. And there was another one here, so there's three of them, I believe. Hmm. to them hmm? okay what does that mean it's red okay so it means they can see us right it's not letting us talk to them you know what looks like they're missing durance hmm? so let's move out of there who's this that's lost. Lost. Let's move out a little bit. Durance. Over here. Oh, who's that? Hey. That's a deer. Deer's going to be the one to go and talk to them. Okay, but if they attack us... Okay. So we don't know if these are friend or foe. I want to think they're friend, but... It's not absolutely certain here. So let's, let's just set up. Okay, so a loth... How may I help? Why don't you come down over here? Indeed. But this way. Let's move over here. Okay. I think you have a little bit more room before they'll see. You. Nope. Oh, wow. Okay, you're going to position yourself right here. Okay. A Loth, you're going to be there. Now, I want Lost. Mm -hmm. Lost, you are going to hang out here with your newfound friend, Durance. Right here, out being spotted. I think you can go a little closer. Okay, good. Durance. What? You're gonna come over here. 
If it makes you rest easier. <laughs> Oh. Oh, they're spotting in dirt. They're spotting. Uh, they're able to see durance. Not quite. No. Hmm. Okay. Okay. okay, what's going to happen here now is a deer is going to come out and do the talking. I think. We're going to have. Yes. We're going to have Tane ready with his bow. Oh, see. I don't think he has to do anything. Okay, so let's let's go talk to him. Okay, they're gonna see they're gonna see a deer coming out of the forest here. Oh, okay. Why it's turning red? No, no. Look at this. Look at this. Oh no. What is this? A loth. Did a loth just fire something? Okay, so everybody is on AI here. Everybody. Yes. Except for Lost. Well, they don't see Lost yet. So what we're going to do... Oh, look at this. Lost has eight cast attempts. Okay, so why don't we do this? First, let's cast that wizard's double. Okay. Okay, so wizard's double. Tane, you need your flail. All right. Come on out and help your friend, the deer. Actually, you know what, Tane? You might be able to do more damage. Yeah, why don't you go after Dudrana? He's already badly injured. Okay. A loth. Did you set a trap or something? I'm not sure what a loth did there. Is this is a. Well, this is a loth right here. Oh, yeah. Sure, he's firing the Minaletta missile already. Okay. Lost, you have your wizard's double out. So why don't you cast now the chill fog? And the chill fog, how this works, this is an area of effect spell. Right? Yeah, 14 to 20 freeze damage, and it blinds you for 4 to 1 4.1 seconds. But it's an area of effect spell. I don't think that's what we want. No, we don't want that. How about this? Necrotic Lance. Let's try that. And we have three attempts with it. Let's try it out. Okay, he has to get closer. It's all right. <laughs> Okay, there, Necrotic Lance is on the Gold Pack Paladin, but here's a Loth here, and he's going to be one-on-one -on -one with this Paladin. Oh, it looks like Lost casts Necrotic Lance, grazes the Gold Pack Paladin for 16 Corrode damage, but the Paladin hits a Loth for 10 Pierce damage. Okay, meanwhile, what is Durant's doing? He didn't do anything in the last fight either. Hmm. Okay. Lost cast another necrotic lance. So both paladins now, look at this, have gone for a loth. 
So go for this one right here. Oh yes! Lost grazes the gold pack paladin again for another 17 corrode damage and lost kills the paladin. Meanwhile, it looks like a deer is coming to a lot's rescue. Even though this paladin is using its ability of zealous focus, it's now going to have to take on not only a loth but also paladin and lost is going to fire an arcane assault at this paladin. Oh, and lost hits for raw for 12 raw damage. This paladin is already injured. Let's do another arcane assault from lost. Oh yeah, Lost hits for another 19 raw damage. This Paladin is near death. Where is Tane? Tane is coming out with his arrows. Tane's hitting with his arrows for 5 pierce damage. This Paladin is near death. So Lost will cast his rod. Oh, it's over. It's over. Look at that. I don't know what Durance did. Did Durance do anything in this fight? Nothing. Not a single thing. Okay, we're gonna have to watch that. Okay. Let's go and see what we have here with Ludrana. I think we're gonna get a Grimoire right here. We sure do. We have a Grimoire. And we also have a wand. We have padded armor and we have Ludrana's orders. What is Ludrana's orders? Let's read that. It seems I have no choice but to provide you with instruction. Radric's forces are spread thin and the road through the wilds to the south of Gilded Vale lies unguarded. Given these favorable circumstances, I'm sure that even you can manage to handle a peasant or two. The archers tell me that Kalsk's men made south after their escape. If you should happen to retrieve one of their number, I may be convinced to forgive your previous mistakes. For the last time, you are to keep clear of Defiance Bay. Know that if you cannot be trusted to acquire a useful specimen with even a modicum of discretion, I have no qualms whatsoever about using what materials I have at my disposal instead. O. Who's O? Okay, so Ludrana was under orders here. So we are going to take everything because we can. A wand, we should be able to grab that, no problem. Let's grab that. Okay, and what do we have here with these paladins? Oh, look at this. We have a mace, we have a large shield, we have male armor, a helm, gold wrought shoe, and copper panned. Okay, well, we can't wear the male armor or the helm, but it's probably worth a fair penny. Yeah, it's worth 40 copper pieces. What's that helm worth? 10. What's that shield worth? 5. You know, we certainly could use the shield. No problem there. It's just the armor we can't, because it's not going to fit. It has to be custom fit. So we'll take everything and we'll look at the mace. The mace is not going to be... I don't think we can grab the mace. Okay, you know what we will do? We will organize this according to our ultra-realism rules. Make sure that we are carrying a maximum of four weapons. We may be able to grab that mace when I think of it because we have now the uh, uh, the, the uh, services of Durance. So we may be able to grab everything here. But we're, we will go through that and we will come back to you in the, new epi in the next episode because we are at the end of this one here. It's time to end this episode. We're past our 30-minute mark. 
I hope you're enjoying this. I'm sure enjoying playing this Pillars of Eternity. This is quite a CRPG. I'm enjoying it a lot. I hope you are as well. And if you are, please give us a like. Please subscribe if you haven't. It helps our channel and it just makes it a lot more fun all around. Thank you very much for watching and we will be back soon.